Hey everyone, how's everyone doing today? My name is Gina and I am doing great! Are we ready for the last day of Craftmas? So, so sad. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this series. I love, 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 love this series. I love it every year. So, um, today we are going to be making a cute little gnome, y'all. <laughs> okay, so you're going to need something along this lines. I bought these several years ago from Joann's. Uh, as you can see, it was on clearance, and then I probably had a coupon on top of that. Uh, so, always be mindful there's other things you can do with items, right? So, always be on the lookout for some clearance stuff. So, what I want to do with this today is make a gnome, like I said. So, you're going to need something like this. Um, you're going to need some of the fake fur. I think I got this from Hobby Lobby, I want to say. Um, I used it, I think it was last year or the year before, with my Nutcracker. And you're going to need a little wooden knob. And I'm pretty sure I got this from, I don't know, Michael's probably. Uh, this is so old, I don't even know. It's probably decades old. But anyway, so uh, what I want to do right now is prep this wood uh, because it is wood. So you want to make sure you prep it pretty well. So I'm going to just sand it and uh, use my tried and true all-purpose sealer that I always use on my wood. That way, it, the because um, we're going to paint it, so the paint won't, you know. So I'm going to do that off camera, and then when I get back, I will uh, tell you what paints we're going to need. Uh, I think I'm going to do red with them. I don't know. We'll see. All right, y'all. I'll be back. So, um, I did show me prepping the wood by sanding it and then using the sealer on it as usual. And then I'll sand it uh, again, which I don't show, after the sealant is dried. Uh, then I just lightly pencil on his uh, face area uh, so that I would keep it in mind you know and there's his nose oh my gosh he's gonna be so cute i do use natural buff as his skin tone uh, so i will be painting uh, his face with that in his nose i do two coats uh, on each thing that i paint uh, so there's two coats on on each uh, then i'm going to go ahead and move to his hat which is a medium light no light Hauser green is what I used, uh, so I decided to go with green. Uh, I was going to make it different. This is an idea, right? That you make it different patterns on the back side. That way you can flip it around if you want, right? I thought that would be a cute idea. That, I didn't do that. I thought about it too late. <laughs> but and that is an idea to do a different pattern on the back side. There's me doing his nose. I just put it on a another paintbrush to paint it easily. I took out my thin ruler so I could have the lines uh, because I wanted stripes on him and I will use country red uh, as part of the stripes going all the way around uh, and then I'm gluing his nose with some hot glue gun with my hot glue gun hot glue. Uh, I am shading with the dark Hauser green and then I will shade the red with a uh, black plum as usual uh, it was a little difficult to do these stripes they got a little wonky but I'm okay with it he's a gnome you know what I mean so <laughs> uh, that's when I decided it would have been cool to do something else on the back side <laughs> here I am shading his uh, underneath his hat with natural buff and underneath his nose uh, I will put little stitchings with a camel on the red there and I will uh, dot the green with some medium Hauser green and now I'm just making his cheeks with my soft pastels and these pinky colors I'll put it make him rosy cheeks and a rosy nose uh, and I will size up his beard cut out what I need 
and uh, trim it to make it look oval, you know, and then use Fabri-Tac to tack it down on him, and then he is finished. This was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I can make like 10 of these. It was a lot of fun. Oh, I love it. Hope you love it too. Give it a like my if you gosh, did. Doll, is he not the cutest thing ever? Oh, he's adorable. I love him. Oh, you can put him on your mantle. Oh, he'd be so cute. Adorable. I have to trim his beard a little bit more once I get him set where I want him to be, but... I think he turned out cute. All right, y'all. Well, that is it for this year's 12 Days of Craftmas. We did it. Was it not so much fun? Oh, if you enjoyed the series, please give the video a like and subscribe if you've not already. And y'all have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful holiday season. And I will see y'all next year. All right, y'all. Y'all be good to one another, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.